Hello, and once again, welcome back to Ad Infinitum, this time for part four as we continue chapter two, Corruption. We're following this railway line, hoping to find a factory at the other end. So let's see. Still got the gas mask, and I've still got this flashlight that we picked up last time, of course. That's going to help, because this is very, very dark here. Am I seeing the end of the line? I... Yeah, I think that's exactly what I'm seeing. I don't think it used to be the end of the line, though. What the... What on earth am I looking at? Is this the factory? Did an explosion cause this, or...? Looks like I'm gonna crawl into a mouth. Huh. Right, okay. Well, let's crawl into a mouth, I guess. There is a little opening. There you go. Oh, I wish this flashlight was better, but hey, it's better than nothing, right? Alright. Everything's red. Red means spooky. Red means there's a phone ahead of me. This must be it, though. This is the factory. It's meant to be a munitions factory, I think. That's what the uh, that's what the pilot told me. Is that you, soldier? There he is. Good. You've almost done it. Yeah. Need to get the power back on. Right. And you can get the factory up and running again. Okay. Be careful. Saboteur. One of our own. Hmm. It's one of our own, you hear me? Right. And that's the end of that. Okay, so my objective, let's take a look. Find the saboteur and get the factory up and running again. It's as easy as that. Yeah, that that seems like a one-man job. <laughs> uh right. Uh let's go this way. Let's see. So with this flashlight, it seems like you, you can hold right-click to keep the flashlight on, but it doesn't last for long. Let's have a look. October 13th, 1917. I have ordered our factories to cease the production of ordnance and arms with immediate effect. Hmm. Robert refuses to comply. He says that to do so would be treason. Right. Well, maybe he's just being realistic, you know? Maybe he understands the situation. Uh, I, ooh, what was that? Temperature zero. Well, I can see that. Okay, uh, yeah. So, I guess this isn't going to do anything. Oh. Ooh, oh boy, oh, I've angered the beast. <laughs> what have I done? Okay. Yeah, that, that didn't work. Presumably because the, the temperatures are all at zero. Um, right. So, let's see. Is that supposed to be a bridge? I think so. It's not lowered, though. Um, right. Is there something down there? There might be. Let's just have a little explore, shall we? What have we got here? Oh, gas. Wonderful. He breathes gas. This way? Alright. It seems like there is some power on, but uh, it's not powering the right things. Wow, look at this. Hmm. This way? Can we? Through the pipework? Around the pipework? Okay, yep. We can squeeze on through, right. Maybe somewhere up here we can sort out the power issues? Furnace pressure. Right, okay. Follow the orange pipes to guide the steam from the furnaces. Right. Here we are, then. Okay, there's something to read here. I should probably read before I go and interact with stuff. Right. We tried to keep the machines running, but they kept breaking down. We thought the enemy had sabotaged our work, but we couldn't find the culprit. It's as if the machines themselves refused to continue production. The others have disappeared. I need to fire the furnaces. The factory must continue operation. Right, okay, so, let's see. Alright, so we- ooh! Is that too much, because it's red? And that's too little. Okay, we need it around like 300, so let's leave it at about 300, I guess. Okay, the furnace is burning, yeah, alright. What we got here? Oh, that's it, 300 degrees, yeah, okay. Goes to a valve. Which goes to a... it's a whistle, isn't it? Well, is that this one? 
A1 and A2. There's a valve with A1 and A2. Ah, I see. Okay, so we need to... We need to divert it to A2. Okay. Whoa. Okay. Oh, that can't be good. I guess there's no going back. But maybe now let's go in forward. Right. Let's see. Okay, through here. So that was that was one furnace. I guess I'm gonna find the others somewhere down here. Alright. Whoa, okay. <laughs> okay, I think that was a one-way trip. Here we go though. Right, furnace number two. Is there another little um Ah, there's another diagram. Fantastic, okay. It's getting a little bit more complicated, but it looks like it needs to be 550? 550. Let's try it. There you go. 550. That will be fine. Okay, so this is A1 and B1. Which is actually not the first one that I need to interact with, it seems. There's a B2 and B1. And what's that? B3. B3 is going to go all the way to the whistle. Right, yeah, this is a bit of a labyrinth of pipe work, isn't it? Okay. So, it's, it's B1. If we have the choice, it's B1. Here we are. And you can see there's pressure there, so... B1. Okay, so we follow B1 back around. Now this is pressured up, right? So we actually need to keep it to B3. There we go. Alright. And just like that, we can keep on going. Let's see. Two down, two to go. Still no sign of this saboteur. Uh, is that? Okay, why is that here? D oh, bloody hell, that <laughs> gave me a bit of a jump scare seeing you. Have you got like a, a, a dog tag I can take? Uh, I don't think so. What's this though? Right. As ordered, the great lieutenant of the mighty German Kaiser has started using the new poison gas compounds against the French. He truly believes that killing off some of the poor bastards in their own trenches will help us win the war. He was so pleased with himself. How can you not see that the whole world is against us? Would he rather wipe them all out than just admit defeat? Feels like I read that earlier. Maybe I did. Why is there a copy of it here? Hmm. Right, so is this going to take me to Furnace 3? Uh, yes it is. Okay, it seems like we're doing them in order as well, which is fantastic. Okay. Alright. G1, G2, there's a 3 there. A door? A locked? A lo oh. Is it locked because of the power? Right, maybe we need to sort out the furnace beforehand. Aha, here we are. 450 this time. 450, okay. That's easy enough. There you go, 450. So, G1 and G2. This one? Yep, okay. So we want it to be G2 this time, actually, so let's spin that around clockwise. And then we follow G2 around to G3 and F1, and it needs to be G3. Right, that might be the, the, the latest step. It is. Uh, is it this way? Right. It, yeah, that, that looks kind of dangerous to me. Got to pick our moment here. Okay. All right. Here we are. Here we are. Okay. So, right, G3. Yep. Okay. Now we've got we've got some pressure going through to G3. That's good. All right. Now we need to go back and I think sort out the final step while uh, not getting boiled alive, preferably. <laughs> That's always good. So G3. We needed to go to Y now. So, yep. Fantastic! Okay, I'm really getting the hang of this, aren't I? So what about this door? Ah, now it works. There you go. Okay. Uh, oh, okay. That seems to be a, a, a fairly common... Oh, Jesus fucking Christ! 
glitch in this game. It, you, you activate the ladder and you go right to the very bottom or right to the top when you uh, you don't want to. But what the fuck was that? The saboteur? I didn't think there was a saboteur. I thought it was the machine doing it itself. <sighs> oh. Oh, we did hear mention of gas. Right. Are we going this way? No. I think there's only one way to go, and I think we're going to have to use the gas mask. Okay. Furnace 4, you through here? Uh, maybe? I, hmm, let's see. A little bit further? Is this a dead end? It's hard to tell. <laughs> Alright, hang on, hang on. There, there is a way this way. That's what we can't use. Okay. Up and over, up and around. Through here. Okay. Where the hell are we? I'm getting lost. Even if I sort this out. Ah, there we go. Yeah, even if I sort this out, am I going to make my way back? <laughs> it's going to be a bit of a struggle. Right. Here we are. Okay. Probably the most complicated yet. But 600. Isn't that the max? Yep. Okay. So this one's going to go all the way to 600. Perfect. Okay. So that travels up X. We need it to go H1. Right. Okay, so there it is. Yep, okay, perfect. H1, that goes to F1 or H2, and it needs to go to H2. Okay, so that's... Alright, that's going over in this direction. Around here? Okay. So that's going to H2, yes, okay. And then it's X and F2. Okay, that well, needs to go to X. H2. Okay, so that goes over there. Wait, can I go that way? Hold on. <laughs> I might need my gas mask back. So, yeah. X. If it's down here, we need to uh, need to divert it to X. Okay, well here it is. I'm still following it along. Yeah, here it is, here it is. Okay. Yeah! Power restored. Flip the main switch. That's it. If I can if I can find the thing. Right. Okay. Back this way? Uh-huh. Is there going to be a quick and easy way back? Or... Right. We didn't come from that way, did we? No, we came from that way. So what? what is this way? Uh... We have a door. Ah, maybe this is it. Maybe this is what I was searching for. Alright. We're going up? You know, I think we might be going up. Do I need the gas mask anymore? I don't think so. Right, get me out of here. Get me back to that control panel so I can turn the power on. Get some more lights on so I can actually see where I'm going. <laughs> Alright. Well, that wasn't too bad, actually. Under here? Yep. Right. I am so disoriented, though. I, I don't really know which way I'm facing anymore. What does this say? Relieve the Kaiser of his crown, and he will see the light. Okay. I'll, uh, I'll get right on that. Uh, right. This way? I don't know. Maybe I should be going up. All right. Yep, but this one works too. Speaking of going up, there is a ladder. Ah, ah, there's the bridge. Okay, so it's actually right up there. Strike is strike. Strike for peace. You feel betrayed. Hmm. Anything else? No, I don't think so. Right. Well, actually, you know, I, I might. Oh. Oh no 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 no! Wait wait wait! I think I just saw something on the ground. Hold on. Who knows how many things I've been walking over as I've been going through the gas-filled areas. It's a child's drawing. Gas makes you ill, Papa says. You should always turn it off all the way. Right. Okay. So, up we go. Back to the control panel. Uh, hopefully, we're getting different readings. Yes. Yes, all the readings that I, uh, 
I put it in. Perfect. So, let's try this again. Okay. Okay. That sounds a little bit more promising. And it's looking a bit more promising as well. I was actually hoping for more light. But, uh, oh well. Beggars can't be choosers, I suppose. I'll still have to use this. Okay. That's odd. Oh, again, in this area, your actions will have consequences. There's a couple of notes, right, let's see. Reactivate the factory. Uh, okay, so... Workers, the saboteur has shut down the factory. We must try to get production up and running again. To do this, the gas pressure in all the supply lines needs to be set to the maximum level. Once we have enough pressure, we can restore power to the factory using the lever on the central console. However, if the production hall falls into enemy hands, we must disable production for good. To do this, you need to shut off the gas flow, then manually activate the diversion mechanism to redirect the pressure to the outside. Okay. So not to let the saboteur take power. Corruption. You descend like an easterly wind. A promise of home and hero's death. But then you feast, and all life ends. Hmm. Yeah, okay. That's my family crest, isn't it? Okay. Let's see. What have we got here? This is very, uh, a machine for pigs, isn't it? Oh, okay. Can we? No. The lever won't budge. You need to increase the pressure. Okay, so it's more following pipes, is it? Alright. Uh, can I hop over? No? Maybe there's a way around. Oh, wow. Oh. Oh, wow. Okay, that... Wait, that's the thing that I saw at the bottom of the ladder. Whoa. Look at you. Is that your crown? Shall we? I think we shall. Okay. Well, there's the lights I was hoping for. If anything, they're too bright, though. Oh, God. You might want to pull that lever. Oh, boy. Wow. Oh, okay. Why are we doing that, then? Oh! Um... Yeah. Okay. Oh jeez. Oh boy. Okay, well he's coming, he's coming. Something to do with this, I assume. Oh. Right. Okay. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Maybe we can uh, maybe we can get this all started? Okay. What we got here? What's this? Lower pressure, divert gas. Increase gas uh Right. Let's try that maybe. Okay. Lower pressure and divert gas. Again, you know, like with the Mother of Sorrows, I do have a I do have a choice here. I guess there is a, a good choice and a bad choice. Oh, not going that way. Oh boy. Oh, okay, we're going around here. The doors, it seems, have a, a bit of a mind of their own. Okay. There's another one here. Lower pressure divert gas. Come on, let's do that again. Let's hope we're making the right choice here. Oh boy. Okay. Come on, come on. Over here as well. Come on. All the way around. That's it, that's it. Okay, there's a bit of a gap here. And, oh, right, I might be able to go straight through. Yeah. Okay. Right, it, it's, it's, it's using the gas, so I think this is probably wise. Bloody hell. Okay. Green. Green's good, usually. Okay. Oh. Oh, bloody hell. What are you doing? What are you doing? Ah, no gas. No gas. Well, there's a little bit. Alright. Okay. How you doing? Yeah, this is very reminiscent of the Mother of Sorrows fight, isn't it? Let's see. 
Oh, you take off your own crown. I think I made the right decision there. Yeah. Yeah, you don't need it. You don't need it. Right. Like I said, goodbye to despair. I'm saying goodbye to corruption, I think. Okay. Ah, oh, yeah. This is familiar. Am I going to get another shard of that mirror then? Yeah, that's exactly what it is. A fragment of the mirror. The shard of glass shows you a fleeting glimpse of your own reflection. Right, I'm going to take that, and hopefully it's going to be slightly more rebuilt when I get back home. Here we are, though. Starting another chapter. Chapter 3, Pain. An eyeball around a paintbrush. Okay. All right, and we're back home. Okay. I oh, shit. Hi. Uh, okay. Uh, what was that? Oh, look at that mirror. It's it's mostly rebuilt. Right, hang on, hang on. We are definitely making progress. That's open as well. It was only the right one before. Now there's a couple more documents to have a look at. But first things first. Well, first things first. Let's light that up so we can actually see. Nearly there. You can almost make out a shadowy reflection of yourself. Almost. It looks like there's maybe one more to go. Yeah, maybe one more. Right, so what we got here? A graduation diploma. This is to certify that Paul von Schmidt has graduated the Prussian Military Cadet Academy with flying colours as of April 1916, and is hereby recommended for the officer fast track in aid of the war effort. Nice. And this one? Dear Paul. The front is eating us alive here in Flanders. And what's left of us, the rats and the lice take too. I pray every day for this war to be over. Before the next wave of German heroes is burned to ashes in this madness. Please reply. Just this once at least. Hmm. Your brother. No. Yeah, there's one more draw. Presumably that's going to open when I find that last shard of the mirror and I actually get to see myself. Right. Was that there before? Childish nonsense. You're doing the right thing. Am I? Well, let's hope so. Okay, so... What's the... Oh. Oh, oh isn't that my brother's room? Hey. Hang on. I oh, come on. Wait, oh, and it's locked again? <sighs> I definitely saw something. Can't be him, can it? Could be. Right. Another distorted voice cries. Is that coming from the app? Oh. Ooh! What? It's working? It's working. I don't think there was anyone aboard. I think it was just a, a wheelchair? Right, hold on. Really? Nothing happens? Are you kidding me? Okay, so it was good for one trip. Right. The lights are really playing up here. And now I'm back at the house, it seems like I don't actually have that flashlight anymore. And I guess I don't have the gas mask anymore either. No. This way. Right. Here we are. Yeah, it's a wheelchair. Wait, am I sitting down or...? Oh, there's a key on it! A, a storage room key! Storage room. Where's the storage room? I'm gonna take that. Okay. Let's see then. Oh, what the hell? <laughs> Who closed the door behind me? And now it's not working? Oh, is it? I don't know. I oh, it <gasps> no, I don't think it's working. Not well, anyway. Oh, oh. Ok, 
Okay. Okay, well, we're not going to the attic. I guess we're going to the basement. But maybe that's where the distorted voice is coming from. Right, stand up. Come on. I'm still alive, somehow. Hmm. It's not my father with the pigeons again, right? I mean, I, I don't want to get gassed again, I have to admit. All right. Where, where is this? Because I was down in the basement, and I don't remember any of this. Is there a second basement? I mean, there are a few doors that I couldn't open, to be honest, so... Right. I assume this isn't going to work. Nothing happens. And here. Oh. oh. I can't even wiggle this around. Can't go up, can't go right. <sighs> can't get anything sorted. Right. Okay. Something over here? More matches? Alright, the more the merrier, I suppose. Yeah, I don't... I don't recognize this. Over here? Okay. Ah. Hold on. Is there a phone somewhere over here? Right, can I get this lit up? There we are. Right. Oh, it's the wheelchair again! What the fuck? Do I? You need to come back. To the trenches? I'd rather not. Wake up though, wake up. I I is that is that what's happening to me? Am I in a coma or something? And this is all in my head? I think that's the most likely explanation, really. It's kind of what I figured might be happening. I don't know though. What's this? It honestly is so dark, so yeah, the more of these, the better. Can I just take this with me, though? I mean, come on, it's got a handle and everything! What about this? No, I can't like this. Is this... is this the basement I was in before? Right, right, okay, yes, yes, yes. So, hold on, hold on. Back through here? Oh, it's locked now? Oh, come on. Where's that voice coming from? Where's that screaming coming from? Somewhere over here? Right. Soldier, what's your objective? Get the power back on in the house. Right. Okay. From there, maybe? What's this? It's a question mark. What, <laughs> what does that mean? Do I need to get a key? Do <laughs> right. This one? Ah! Oh, maybe this is the storage room, then. Isn't this where I heard someone reciting the Lord's Prayer earlier? Alright, we need more lights, don't we? What's this? Why are the savages locked in there, Grandfather? So you can learn from their fate. Take mm. a closer look. See how they're sitting on the floor, naked, in the dirt. Do they have anything to be proud of, Paul? Mm-mm. And yet, they are. They charged into our machine gun fire, screaming like madmen and waving their primitive spears. They fell like flies in their hundreds. Pride without cause is idiocy, pure and simple. Remember that. You're not like them. Your blood and your heritage give you something to be proud of. Leave the dying to the idiots. <laughs> what a wonderful man my grandfather was. Yeah, right. What else have we got? Okay. Is that like a, a giant case? A massive trunk? Okay, hold on. Right, let's move this out of the way. To the left. Under here, maybe. Right. Ah, here we are. Oh, come on. The, the box will not budge for some reason, and that's where I need to go, right? That's, that's going to reactivate the power. <sighs> okay. What else have we got around here? Okay, hang on. Let's get some light, so I can actually see what I'm doing. Needle and thread. Skin and hair. Wait, what? 
You feel a bit sick. The Virgin Mary, she looks sad. And when the Lord saw her, he had compassion on her, and he said to her, Do not weep. And he came up and touched the bier, and the bearer stood still. And he said, Young man, I say to you, arise. And the dead man sat up and began to speak. And Jesus gave him to his mother. There's another one. I know I cannot ask you for both. I want Johannes to live. Ooh. I have chosen him. Please accept Paul into your heavenly kingdom. He is a good boy. Right. I cut off the cuckoo's flesh as I cut off its life, so that Johannes may live in its stead. Please, dear Lord, come to my aid and bring back my Johannes. Wow. Mum, the hell are you up to? Yeah, I feel a little sick now too. Anything else? No? Right. Maybe we can push it from here? I, oh, hang on. Oh there's, oh, there's a key! What's in there? Oh, whoa, bloody hell! Okay, it's... it's you. You just keep popping up, don't you? Right. But that key... Alright, so what's that a key to? Key to the blue door. S oh no, it's not SL. It's JS. Johannes. Right. Okay, that, that'll be the key to my brother's room, right? Jeez. The dummy looks at me in surprise. I'd prefer if it didn't. <laughs> okay. Maybe that's why I couldn't budge it, because this thing is actually a lot heavier than it looks. Can we move it now? Hang on. Okay. Ah, there we are, there we are. Okay, what we got here? Skulls from German Southwest Africa for further scientific investigation. Recommended for use as objects of study. Skulls? Huh. Please expect the Great General's cases and boxes around midday on Friday, June 7th. Our forwarding agent will collect the goods from the steamboat in the port of Hamburg one day prior to this. Following delivery, my staff will remain at your disposal in order to carry all the goods you do not need in your house itself down to the desired area of your basement. I shall send you our invoice upon completion of the work. I wish your father, General von Schmidt, a speedy recovery. Ah. Okay. Let's see. I'm not going to get electrocuted trying to do this, am I? Okay. Okay, okay, that's great. Oh, what the fuck, man? You're right, Johannes. Teresa and I have decided to help you once the war is over. We'll liberate the skulls from your parents' basement and send the crate back. It's the least we can do. After everything our fathers and forefathers did to them. Let us hope they can find peace in the soil of their homeland. Man. This gets worse and worse, doesn't it? A label from the shipping company. The cases have come a long way. Well, we're in Africa, right? Okay. Ah, uh, yeah, we don't need to worry about the furnace, I don't think. Let's see. Oh! Oh, okay. I didn't need a key after all. I'm still hearing a distorted voice! Right, hold on. Hold on. Oh, this is locked. Shit. Where's it coming from? I guess it could be coming from upstairs, right? Let's go up here. Alright. Yeah, it seems like power is well and truly back. Okay, so now what's my objective? Use the key to open the blue door, of course. Right, we have to look at the uh, the brother's room, don't we? Locked? What the hell? That's locked as well? Uh, okay, so we can't go to the entrance hall? Guess not. Oh. Oh, okay, there is a way through. Right. Okay, well, maybe we... Oh, what? Why is this all blocked? Oh. <laughs> hmm. Right, okay. Let's see. Is... Oh. Ah, okay. One door closes, another opens. Ah, 
All right. I don't think I've been here before. No, this isn't familiar to me, but well, hopefully this is going to put me on the right track. The factory, right. Carl von Schmidt & Co. Paint Factories evades bankruptcy. The Berlin-based company, which specializes in the production of chemical substances for medical and industrial use, has been saved from bankruptcy by an injection of private funds from owner Carl von Schmidt. Investments from partners were surprisingly thin on the ground when Carl von Schmidt & Co.'s leading chemists were poached by a competitor in Wuppertal. Carl von Schmidt is the son of famous Prussian general Lothar von Schmidt. The investment of private funds has saved the jobs of 350 employees at the company's Berlin premises. Whether this money can secure the enterprise's future, however, remains to be seen. Right, and I guess, you know, it was transferred over to be a munitions factory later on, right? Oh boy, another case. Another doll inside. Ah, okay, this time we're just moving it away from the door. Hold on. Ah. Yes, yes. Wasn't there a phone here before? But right, okay. Wow. Guess we're not going that way. Uh, okay. And that's locked as well. Yeah, we can't get to the entrance hall, it seems. Around here, though? Okay, here's my room. My brother's room. I've got the key. Okay. Hmm, let's see. Spring Awakening. 22, right. Oh, I see. He wasn't smiling the night you saw the two of them together. Okay. I'm going to be taking that with me. Something over here? Those who gaze at Mother's tree are the same, and yet not so. One I told in confidence, you see, a secret that I know. The keeper of my secret has a mouth like spring awakening, wings like resurrection, eyes like the self. Okay, that's quite a cryptic secret you've got there. Again, I'm going to take this. This must be important. Okay, another painting? Yep, this one's called The Garden. No numbers on this one. The picture reminds you of your childhood. Okay, that's a very abstract childhood, but sure. Okay. Yeah, I'm not taking that one with me. Okay, what we got here? Dear father, you have disowned me not because of that night in the attic, but because I am a rebel within the confines of this family. If you had dared rebel against your own father, you could have spared mother much pain and torture. Your only loyalty is to a dead man. This house is under the rule of the dead. His spirit pervades every stone. I am packing and moving out. Soon you shall be rid of me. I would rather go to war than return to this accursed house. Right. Johannes, July 1914. So that's why he went to the front? Huh. What's this night in the attic? We need to get to the attic, don't we? Something in here? Oh, yeah. The Dove and the War. Dear Johannes, once the war is over, we shall finally get our exhibition, and it shall be more beautiful than ever. I've received your sketches for our poster campaign in support of our soldiers. Christian will love them too. I cannot wait for the next time I see the two of you and Rudy. There is so much I want to share with you. I've seen so much on my way to the front, but for now, letters will have to do. Take care of yourself, soldier. Otherwise, I'll have to come over there and stitch you back together again. I'm to be deployed as a nurse within the next few days. Teresa. Right. Hmm. Is there something? Oh, there is something over here, actually. Right. Uh, wait. So there was a... There was a door between the two rooms? What was that? Yeah, okay. Anything in here? Any other paintings? A can? Oh, I see. That's how the brothers spoke to each other. Okay. Right. Yeah. Wait, oh. oh, it's still going. You're still mad about what happened in the attic, aren't you? I should have known! 
What happened in the attic? Not to me. going on with the attic? We need to get to the attic, right? Okay. So, various ways are, are blocked, but other doors are open, so I feel like I, I need to recheck everything, you know? So, can't go that way, obviously. This way? Can't we just clamber over this and head up to the attic? I really want to know what's up there. <sighs> or, or maybe this is now working properly? Nothing happens? No? You wonder what's up there. I do wonder what's up there. Yes, you're right. I do. That's locked. <sighs> so let's see. Oh, there's going to be more paintings. Uncover their secrets. Well, I don't think there were any other paintings in the room, right? Let me just go check. I think I collected the ones that, you know, that I could collect. I collected the secret and I collected the... Was it Spring Awakening? Actually, the secret mentioned Spring Awakening, didn't it? Hold on. Spring Awakening. A mouth like Spring Awakening. Right, the Keeper of My Secret has a mouth like... Okay, this is gonna be for a puzzle, I guess. So we're gonna find... We're gonna find some resurrection in the self or something, I think. So th I think there's at least two more paintings. But I don't think they're here. This one. No, no, that's uh fifteen oh two. Jesus, that's uh that's definitely not his. Right, downstairs. Okay. Yeah, I, I don't really want to have a repeat performance and uh and end up going down there again. Is this one of yours? Marta Dolorosa. What a strange painting. You never saw Mother the way he did. Okay. I think that's one of his paintings, but not one that I want to grab. I looked through this before, so... Right. It's the paintings that I'm, I'm most concerned about now. Right, we had a look at these, didn't we? That's still locked. Okay, so that's, that's not it. Okay, now we're on the other side of the blockage. Right. We can't... I was going to say, maybe we can crawl under. No, we can't, can we? Seems like a bit of a dead end, honestly. There must be another way I can go. So we can't go that way. No. no I didn't have any of the paintings in here, did I? No, I don't think so. It's got, it's got quite a style to them. So, back down here, maybe. Maybe there was another way to go. No. Nah, that's not going to be it. Right. So, oh! Oh god. What the- Oh, well, there's the phone. What the hell happened here? Holy crap! Oh, not this again. We're just going through the dog tags. I don't need to hear that. No! Stop it! <laughs> Let me have a look at this first. The Blue Dove Berlin. Having been called to arms to protect the fatherland, the following beloved members of our association did suffer heroic deaths in the fall of 1914 in faithful fulfillment of their duty. Theresa Galvao, author and nurse. Rudy Meyer, author. Christian Mertens, painter and salesman. Conrad Bonhart, poet and accountant. 
deeply saddened. We mourn the loss of our comrades in the fight for justice and freedom. The Blue Dove will honor their memory and their work. May they rest in peace, far from home and in foreign soil. Tragic, really, isn't it? Right. Okay. We've got a few trip hazards here, but let's see. Can we... Okay, we can go across. Now, certain doors are locked. Certain doors aren't. Seems quite arbitrary, really. Can we go back into the... No, not going back in there. Can I unlock the door from this side? No, can't do that either. That's got to be one of his, surely. Him. When father saw the painting of himself for the first time, he said nothing. Not a word. I think, really, it's just the paintings with numbers on the back of them? I don't know, there was a 22 on that one that I picked up. Alright. Ah, oh, okay, alright, this is a painting of the garden that reminded me of childhood. How's that? Wait, it's a phone? What? What on earth? Come back. You're dreaming. Hmm. Can you hear me? I can. I just don't know if I want to. Right. The fountain hasn't been fixed or anything. Um. Oh. Ah, yeah, hold on. This was blocked off before. It's not anymore. Ah, uh, this has got to be one of them. Resurrection! Four? There's a four on it. Okay, you never liked this picture. Well, I think it's pretty good, to be honest, but... Okay, I'm gonna take that with me. Good stuff. Alright, another one? Ooh, there you go. Oh, that's self! Okay. Well, I think we found the three that we need. Right, so, he looks at you sadly, as if he knew what fate had in store. Wasn't it something like the wings of resurrection and the eyes of self or something? Hold on. Yeah, wings like resurrection, eyes like the self. The numbers must mean something. Four, eight, and twenty-two. Or twenty-two, four, and eight, potentially, in that order. Ah, oh, we can't go to the lab. Okay. The well? No. Same as before. Maybe I need to bring these back to the bedroom? Or I need to... Ooh, I need to hang them up? Oh. Ah. Ah. I didn't see this last time. We can move it as well. Okay. Oh, hello. Hang on, hang on, hang on. What is that? I'm fairly sure this wasn't here before. Hold on. Hold the phone. Right. So we, we can drag this? We can drag it. Okay. Anything else? Well, there's these two. Right, let's, let's just climb up here and have a little look. Okay. You don't see anything special. I... <laughs> You do see something out of the ordinary, though, and I don't think this was here before. Maybe it was. I guess my eyes weren't really drawn, like, up above. I didn't really have a look at this area. What about that one? There's... No, 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 no. Get off of it. Get off of it. There's got to be a reason I can move this around, right? We don't just climb straight up. Oh. Oh. Is this the secret? Hold on. Spring Awakening, Resurrection, and Self. 2248. Let's try that. Like that. Just like that! There's something hidden here! The attic. We're going to the attic. Right. Okay, but wait, don't we need to fix the elevator, though? We can't climb through and go up the stair. Is there another way? Maybe there's another way. Right. 
I need to get to the attic. How? <laughs> How do I do that? I don't think there's anything else to have a look at here. Although, I mean, let's just drag this back over, because I might want to climb, right? I might want to just climb up. There we are. It is a little bit fiddly, trying to move stuff around without climbing on it, but... Yeah. Overall, I'm really impressed with this game. As I said last time, I think, the more I play, the more I like it. Okay. Ah. Alright. Have I been here before? I don't think so. What have we got here? They have found my Johannes. My heart is bursting with joy. He is already in Lübeck and will be here soon. I have cleaned the large attic room so he may be made comfortable. Right. I shall buy paints and canvases for him. My Johannes is coming home. And number two. A letter from a military hospital. There's some illegible bit. To inform you that your son, Johannes von Schmidt, is alive and has been discharged from military service as a war invalid. Until now, his physical condition has necessitated long-term medical care at Reserve Military Hospital 3 in Lübeck. Your son can be taken into your care in two weeks' time, September 2nd, 1918, if... if something. If you so choose, I guess. Oh. Ah! Right, so there is a way back into this room. Ah, oh, there's not a way down, though. Fair enough. Fair enough. I guess we're, I guess we're done with that. Okay. Alpha. Yeah. See, I think I did open the door. I had a little look around, but I never actually, uh, I never actually explored the area. Ah, look at that. There we go. So this would be the entrance hall. Can yeah, okay, so we, we can... <laughs> we can open up a couple of shortcuts, it seems. I don't know why they're all locked up. I don't know why certain things are blocked off. It's very strange. Over here? Did we try this before? Oh, this is father's door. Locked. Doesn't he want to see you? Well, to be honest, after what happened, maybe I don't want to see him. Right. Let's go and really properly explore this area, though. So we can't go through there. That goes to another walkway. Something over... Oh, another phone call. Ooh! Hold on. Wake up, soldier. Oh, here we go again. Soldier! You need to come back. You need to finish it. Yeah, we'll see. October 5th, 1918. I refuse to go up to the attic. The wailing and clattering alone is unbearable. And the smell. Right. Is this going to lead to the attic? I mean, I, I think it might. Oh boy, yes. You're no son of mine. You're a disgrace to this family. You perverts are driving our nation to ruin. Carl, don't. Nothing happened. War is coming. And you're going to die. Look at yourselves. You're not men. Perverts, eh? A page from an encyclopedia. Cuckoos do not brood themselves. Instead, they usually lay their eggs one at a time in the nests of other birds, taking one of the original eggs in return, which they then often devour. Certain species lay their eggs in the nests of smaller birds. In such cases, the raising of the cuckoo frequently leads to the deaths of the mother's true chicks. The young cuckoo grows quickly and requires large quantities of food, which it steals from the legitimate chicks before throwing them out of the nest. Despite this, the parents will still sacrifice everything to keep it fed. This way. Okay. We got any more lanterns? <laughs> I'd like some light up here, honestly. Plenty of cases and stuff like that. Oh. Okay, we've moved that out of the way, I suppose. Okay, under here. Yep. Ah, here we are. Good stuff. The more of those, the better. Up here. Alright. Okay. 
Okay. A bed. All right. What have we got here? It's the postcard from Christian. Dear Johannes, they say the war will be over before the first leaves fall. Won't that be grand? The others at the cafe said you've enlisted too. How marvelous! You'll still be able to move out from home once we've emerged victorious. We'll meet again at the front as comrades fighting for the fatherland. Your father was right. What happened between us in the attic was just childish games, wasn't it? Your friend, Christian. Ah, I see. Okay. Well, maybe that's how Christian felt, but not the way Johannes did. Everything here is just how he left it five years ago. Another one of his paintings. He caught them before he could finish it. Right. Okay. Now I understand. Nothing happened! Did it, Johannes? Tell him! Christian! You've got no idea who I am. <gasps> Paul did the right thing telling us what you were doing up here. Look at you! A pair of filthy strumpets! You repulse me, the pair of you! Get out! Get out of my house! Right. Well, there you go. Mystery solved. That's what happened in the attic. Okay, nothing else to find? I don't think so. Right, let's continue exploring. Oh. I'm stuck. Oh no, don't, don't tell me I can't go down. I, oh. But, okay, well, I can fall down and, you know, break my shins. <laughs> Alright, around here. Oh, door's ajar. It's a big attic. It's a big place. Uh-huh. Still no, uh... Still no signs of my brother. Johannes' paintings will protect me from the cuckoo. I show them to it every day to make sure. Cuckoo wants to paint too. I have taken its awful paintings away from it. I don't want to see them. I give it nothing but the black oil paints to drink. It wants them. And I don't want it to live. Oof. Right. Okay. Wow, that's a lot of cages. <laughs> and uh, a lot of easels. A lot of artwork, right? Oh, all your anises, I assume. The smell of the paint makes you feel sick. The paint's still fresh, but it can't be. There's something else up here in the attic. Well, someone. You plead to finally wake up and be let out of this nightmare. This is just a nightmare. You don't want to know what's behind the door. This door? I do. Curious. Ah, there you go. That's just like the one that I found in the bedroom. What if it is him? What if he's still alive? What if, right? Let's see. Oh, it's unlocked. Yeah. Oh, yep. Yeah. Johannes has turned into a pigeon. <laughs> okay, and now we move on to a hospital. But this is where I'm going to say thank you very much for watching Ad Infinitum Part 4. I hope you're still enjoying the series, and if you are, leave this video a like, leave your support down below in the comments, and I hope to see you back in Part 5 where we begin the hospital. See you then. Find the saboteur and get the factory up and running again. It's as easy as that. Yeah, that, that seems like a one-man job. <laughs> so I guess this isn't going to do anything. Oh. Oh, oh boy. Oh, I banged the beast. Okay, why is that here? Did, oh, bloody hell. That <laughs> gave you a bit of a jump scare seeing you. Uh, oh, okay. That seems to be a, a, a fairly common... Oh, Jesus fucking Christ! Whoa. Look at you. And we're back home. Okay. I, oh, shit. Is that coming from the... A oh. Ooh! I don't know. I, oh! It, no, I don't think it's working. Not well, anyway. It honestly is so dark, so yeah. The more of these, the better. Can I just take this with me, though? I mean, come on, it's got a handle and everything! What's in there? Oh, gee. Whoa, bloody hell! Okay, it's... It's you. 
Oh god. Oh, it's unlocked. Yeah. Oh, yep. Johannes has turned into a pigeon. 